próxima keynote do CEO da Microsoft, Satya Nadella, que acabou de acontecer aqui nesse palco. Dentro de diversos assuntos tratados, um chamou a atenção HoloLens. Todo mundo está muito curioso para saber o que, que vai ser desse novo device da Microsoft. E ele deu algumas dicas e falou um pouquinho mais sobre ele. Dá uma olhada. Se você ainda não conhece o HoloLens, essa é a novidade que a Microsoft está desenvolvendo secretamente em seus laboratórios nos últimos anos. Veja só, a ideia é que o mundo real se misture ao mundo virtual, e aí você pode ver objetos projetados em meio à sua casa e ao seu trabalho para ajudar que você execute diferentes tarefas. Imagine uma TV que você pode ligá-la assim, aumentá-la de tamanho com um simples arrastar de dedos ou ver a previsão do tempo dessa maneira legal. Agora no trabalho, um designer pode criar projetos 3D muito mais facilmente, uma teleconferência vai passar a ser assim e os videogames vão ser julgados assim. Até para trabalhos que demandam técnicos em campo, com a ajuda da realidade virtual, até mesmo os clientes poderão executar tarefas e consertar pequenos problemas em suas casas. Explorar lugares onde nunca estivemos, como analisar rochas em Marte, tudo isso será possível, e isso são apenas algumas das possibilidades imaginadas pelos desenvolvedores da HoloLens. E acredite, isso já é realidade. Satya Nadella, obviamente, é um dos caras que está testando e desenvolvendo esse produto. É apenas simplesmente Olha, aqui é uma fascinante coisa. Eu estou usando isso nos últimos múltiplos meses, em uma forma constante. E para mim, mesmo, cada dia... It's just such a different type of computer. Uh, and our industry, I've sort of talked about this, is punctuated by these category creation moments, especially when input and output changes. And this is for the first time where you have not just a mirror world, right? If you look at our history, what we have done is we have digitized the real world, right? We've created metaphors like the desktop or the smartphone with a set of icons. But this is a place where digital output is mixed in with the real world. So that's why we call it the mixed reality. Right. And we are at the very beginning of understanding even how we're going to deal with this medium uh, as developers, as users, as every one of us. Gaming is also going to be reimagined for this because it's very different. Like what's happening, obviously, there's you know the PC gaming, there is uh, mobile gaming, there's Xbox gaming. Uh, there's also going to be VR because the other thing that we're also excited about, partnering with, in fact, you know, Oculus, Steam, and others. Uh, in next spring, I think they're all going to have uh, virtual reality goggles, and in most of those cases, they're going to be tethered to a Windows 10 machine. Uh, in fact, with Xbox controllers, uh, that's going to be very different genre where it's all fully occluded, and it's going to be very amazing experiences. AR or mixed reality is about mixing the real world and the real uh, and the digital world. In fact, that's kind of the thing. I, I put it on and I roam around my house and you continue to have your conversations uh, and you literally have these digital artifacts. Um, and so it's, it's different and gaming is also going to be reimagined. So to your point about the kinds of developers, even the classic game developers are, like Minecraft are building a very different type of game for this new medium. It's going to be definitely the single application used in the enterprise is going to be easy. In, already we have good traction, the industrial design. I mean, if you use AutoCAD Maya on HoloLens, there's no going back uh, if you're an industrial designer because you literally see the output of what you're designing right next to you. And you can imagine architects, the same thing. Right. Uh, so those are easy to, I think, imagine. Now, what are the, all the other use cases? You saw Skype, right? right? That's the thing that we want to sort of look at and see how that changes how people communicate. How does customer service uh, change? Right. How does gaming come through? I, for example, watch a lot of video. Uh, I found it like, hey, even Coursera. So I put up Coursera on one side and I have my Edge browser on the other. And I find like, wow, this is a fantastic digital learning platform for me. Uh, and so there's lots of different things and we'll, you know, time will tell, but we are very, very clear that there are some enterprise scenarios that we already think are going to be big hits. So how close are we really? <laughs> um, the last public thing I've said about this is that we will get it out in um, a dev kit in uh, by next year for sure. And uh, so we, you know, this is going to be a five year journey because we really, 
Uh, we want to get it out, get it out to developers, we'll get it out to enterprises, um, and then we'll learn. Uh, but we'll get it out next year and then uh, we'll iterate from there. Se gostou, curta aqui embaixo e assine nosso canal do YouTube. Todos os dias tem vídeo novo para você.